How do you control things like volume, filter, or a crossfader with two buttons? Welcome back everybody, I'm Odyssey of Odyssey Eurobeat, and welcome back to Budget Controllerism. Today I'm covering a tractor exclusive technique for controlling things that would usually be assigned to a knob or a slider or a fader with buttons. I wish that I could do the same for Ableton Live, but it turns out that the process for doing so in Live is very long-winded and complicated and kind of pointless and fruitless and frustrating. Uh, in fact, that's part of why this uh, this video was delayed. It took that long to realize that it's really sad to say if you want to control things like that in Ableton Live, you're going to need a knob or a slider or a fader. What you'll do is you'll take two buttons, one for usually up or one direction if you're doing a uh, crossfader and another button for down or the other direction. Uh, by how much so is for the most part up to you. Tractor has a few parameters to control how much so. Obviously the smaller number you give it the more control you'll have but the more you'll have to jam the button or the longer you'll have to hold it down. Whereas with a larger amount you'll get there quicker but you'll have less finite control. Let's head over to Tractor now to see how that would look. So here we are again in our trusty Tractor, and today we're going to go back to our good friend, Controller Manager. What we're going to do is we're going to set up a new controller, I believe this will do. Ah, oh, no, it looks like that one already has some things mapped. Ooh, that one does too. Tell you what, we're just gonna add a generic MIDI to the setup. We're gonna select the imports. In this case, I'm using an Oxygen 25 which does have some knobs and sliders and faders on it, but we can still use some of the keys for the sake of uh, buttons. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to add in, and let's say we wanted to control volume. So we're going to go to mixer, and we're going to go to volume adjust. And we're going to select under assignment, we're going to have a control deck A. I'm going to hit learn and then hit whatever button you intend to use to bring the volume up. Done. Now, you'll see here it goes to type of controller and interaction mode. What you'll want to do is simply pick button because that's what you're using. You're not using a knob or a slider or fader, you're using a button. Interaction mode, you're going to use ink because that makes it increase so this is where we can get a little tricky as you can see here auto repeat what this does is when you hold the key down it will keep going up on its own if you don't have that on then you have to hit the button repeatedly for it to work resolution this is where you're going to set how much it's going to go up or down with each, you know, with each button press or as you hold it down. I'm going to put it on course for now and I'll demonstrate why in a bit. I'm going to add another input under track, no, under mixer. We're going to do another volume adjust, also for decay. But this time, when I hit learn, I'm going to hit another key. We're going to do button, oh, I should turn off learn. We're going to do Deek or decrease. And did I put auto repeat? No, I did not. Okay, we're going to put resolution to coarse. So take a look at the volume slider for deck A. Takes me about eight button presses to bring it all the way down, and about eight to bring it back up, simply because both are going by the coarse resolution. If I set it to fine, let's see, this is for bringing it down, and I turned on auto repeat, all I'd have to do is hold it down, and it would slowly bring it down. You can see that, right? And then I'm going to turn on auto repeat for up. And you can see that it brings it up very quickly. So it's up to you to play with the resolution. In fact, you could even do uh, fine. For these, let's play with fine. Oh wait, we've already played with fine. Let's 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 do default for both of them. 
I imagine it's somewhere between the two. Yeah, seems like a very friendly amount. But yeah, play with that. Figure out which buttons you're going to use. You can also assign those to deck B. You could assign them to the crossfader. But that is, in essence, how you would map buttons to control the same job that a slider or knob would. And that about does it. That's how you can use two buttons to control what would usually be the purvey of a knob, slider, or fader in Tractor. That about does it for today's episode of Budget Controllerism. And actually, that about does it for the Budget Controllerism series. Uh, I'm glad to say that uh, I have a few more things on the horizon, but I just need to put the series to rest for a while. I sincerely hope that it's been helpful to some of you who have just been wondering where to start, to get some cheap equipment, to get some cheap sound options, to get some software, get up, and stand up on your own two feet. Whether you walk or run or crawl or fly or swim from here is entirely up to you, but I sincerely hope I've been able to get you up on two legs. All right, guys, until the next song release, until the next tutorial series I have coming out, until the next time we meet, I'm Odyssey of Odyssey Eurobeat, signing out.